don't know. He's shooting across the road or something. Did you guys just hear the gunshots? They're really close. Yeah. They sounded like pow, pow. I know, right here. All right. April, come up here. I want you to see that there are, he's over here across the road with another guy shooting. I'm filming it. Go call downstairs. basically taking a nap downstairs just inside and Ron Steely's across the road uh, shooting something he's never done before I mean, this is just getting ridiculous, man. I mean, it's really uh, uncalled for. It's Sunday afternoon. We're trying to rest. I think there's a road behind them where they're shooting. There's actually a roadway on the other side where the road loops around. I don't think it's a very safe direction. They're shooting and you can easily turn around and shoot towards the house.
I don't even have my glasses on. I'm pretty sure I see the counter counting. Is she sending someone out? All right. Uh, they're shooting at the freaking ground, and I'm videoing it. It's his. It, that she wanted to know that. Yeah, she was just trying to get information. Yeah, but you said it's right across from our driveway, right? Yes. Okay, I want you guys to take cover. Go, get behind the uh, counter down there. Okay? Right. right there where the puppet show thing is. Okay. Have them sit down there with you. It's clearly just to intimidate us. In the two years that we lived here, they have never shot across the road from our house. They're shooting at some can on the ground. I mean, it's named Steely Road, and they got hundreds of acres around here, and they're going to shoot across, right across from our front door. Really? actually shaking. I shouldn't be afraid, but uh, it's a little, uh, I wouldn't uh, go near someone's house and shoot near their home that I've had arguments with, and it's very intimidating. <sighs> Now they're getting in the truck and leaving. Yeah, the prosecutor, when I talked to him about this, he said I was posting these things for entertainment. I'm certainly not posting this. I'm concerned about my family's safety. 
and these people continue to come to our house. Every incident that I've reported has been here at our home. Why would you shoot and then sit across the road from someone's house after you're done shooting? Now he's leaving. Or backing up, I don't know. just had Cass Martin here yesterday, candidate for sheriff, and he said it was pretty ridiculous that we asked for police reports of these incidents, and they, we were told that we have to subpoena them. Uh, so they're going to cover up or uh, not give us uh, police reports of the 26th when he was asked not to come back over here, and he came over on the, why well, ask him on the 24th, the video's posted. Oh my gosh. a long time to upload these videos that's why I make them short sometimes and just save the whole video I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this whole thing if the deputies would hurry up and get here and then I'll turn the uh, turn the uh, camera off it's just like they came and shot and now they're gonna wait for the police to come Luke and Lily were playing on the back deck and I was sitting in the chair, April had just laid down to take a nap with the baby. I start hearing the gunshots, I'd say 357 or something, and 44 booming, and Luke and Lily came in, they'd been told, and I got the camera and was, uh, I was actually just sitting in the chair quietly and listening to them talking about the water and filling water, just being kids, enjoying listening to my children. And they're downstairs hiding now. Freaking unbelievable. Hiding behind the counter. Yeah, it's like they just came and shot to intimidate us and force us to call the police so the police can come and, and they can tell them, oh, we're just over here shooting on our own property. That guy's the problem. even now
Are you guys still taking cover? Yes. Okay. They, they